Hi, and thanks for watching another instructional video for CSCI 1300. In this video, we're going to be talking about arrays of objects and building a class from start to finish to accomplish a specific task. In this particular set of videos, we're going to be building a truck class to represent the information for an imaginary truck lot or a truck inventory at some kind of a dealership. And this could be really helpful, you know, say if we want to like print the information of the inventory or talk about specific different types, maybe want to search for models or look for prices or things like that, or years, things like that. So if we look at our text file, we've got six pieces of data that we need to store per object. So on each line, we've got the name, the make, the color, the year that it was produced, and then the gas and the mileage. So this would be the size of the tank and this would be the MPG that it would get. So we have six pieces of data on each line and we're going to have to create these lines into objects and then turn them into some kind of an inventory. I have a truck age file, a truck CPP, which will be the implementation, and I also have a driver file. In this video, I'm gonna walk through the age file and I'm gonna talk about what we are doing here and why. So the first thing to note here is that I'm using a truck HPP. You can use a truck H, either one works. This one is specifically an HPP because I was working on defining a class header file specifically for HPP files related to CPP. And I'm gonna notice that I have include string because I've got a couple of different things on the text line that I'm gonna to have to store as strings. For instance, the color, the make, and the model. And I've also got variables for the year, the gas, and the mileage, as well as integers. And I'm also going to be using namespace std so I don't have to go through and add std colon colon all over the place. So let's start at the top. We have if not define and define, which basically links our files together and is extremely important. And at the bottom of our file, we have a hashtag and if as well. These just make sure that when you compile things together, that everything's referenced back to the H file correctly. If we look at our private section, we've got three strings for the make, model, and color, and three integers for the year, gas, and mileage. So that will represent all of the pieces of data that are stored on a given line in the file. Next, we have our public section, which I've divided into three different areas based on the types of functions. So we have a section here for the constructors, whether it is a default or a parameterized constructor. We have the getter functions or the accessor functions here in the next category. And then I've listed all of the sets for those particular variables as well. So we have setters or mutator functions for each one of the private variables, as well as the get functions for those same variables. Notice that I am not specifying the name of the variables when I pass them into these functions. The reason why is because I don't have to. This is just a blueprint for what I'm going to be doing. And it's actually faster and easier to not include these in your H file because the H file is a blueprint and the only place you really need to name those variables is in your implementation file. So we've covered everything in this video for the H file. And lastly, just before I finish this video, I want to note that in my implementation file and in my driver, I have the hashtag include truck HPP. So I'm referencing this H file in both of my other files so that it will compile correctly. So that's all for this video. Stay tuned for the next part where we look at the implementation file for this truck class. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.